our three sentences for today. Ich muss jetzt beim Lesen eine Brille tragen. I now have to wear glasses while reading. Ich kann meine Brille nicht finden. I can't find my glasses. And finally, weißt du, wo meine Brille ist? Do you know where my glasses are? And it's good to learn the word for glasses, Brille, and to see it in the context of these different sentences. But the real reason we're looking at these sentences is that there's something funny about the word Brille for English speakers. And I wonder if you noticed it in those three sentences. In the second one, it's a little more subtle. But notice that we say one or a Brille. And the verb for Brille is singular in the third sentence. In English, we say glasses, and that's plural, right? We're not just saying it's one glass. It's two pieces of glass, so we call it glasses. But in German, we say glass, a glass, because they're connected. There's something connecting the two pieces of glass, so it's one contraption. There is a certain logic to it. Therefore, we say eine, the feminine singular accusative indefinite article, that is word for a. And then in the second sentence, we have meine, which is the feminine singular accusative form of the word for my, the possessive adjective which has exactly the same endings as eine. They get them from the same table. And in the third sentence, of course, we have the same possessive adjective there, meine, which is also singular. And German tends to do this for items of clothing or accessories that are in fact made of one piece. For example, jeans, we talk about eine jeans or hose, a pants or schere, a scissors. One final interesting grammatical thing about these three sentences is that we have the verb in last position, or at least a verb in last position in all three. What's the reason for that? Well, in the first sentence, it's because we have a modal verb and the modal verb sends the second verb to the end of the sentence and it's infinitive form with en without a zu. In the second sentence, we have exactly the same reason. Again, we have a modal verb, which sends the second verb right to the end of the sentence. But in the third sentence, it's because we have a subordinate clause. That's a fancy way of saying not a main clause. It's dependent on another clause to sort of make sense. And it starts with a question word. And if you have a subordinate clause starting with a question word, then it's going to send the verb, even though it's a conjugated verb, to the end of the sentence. It's a similar thing to, for example, the conjunctions das or weil, which also send the conjugated verb in a subordinate clause to the end of the sentence.